Major League Baseball is hoping to make a comeback. COVID-19 derailed April's opening day. And since then, fans and players have patiently awaited baseball's return. Paul Bird is a former Major League All-Star pitcher and a current Emmy Award-winning Fox Sports broadcaster with the Atlanta Braves. He's been called the nicest guy in baseball and is known for his sometimes self-deprecating humor. Paul, I was looking at your Twitter profile. You're a great Twitter follow, by the way. Appreciate that. A recent tweet caught my eye. It reads... My wife informed me this look is totally unacceptable, even during a quarantine. Hmm. I wanted you to go on the record and explain that fashion statement. You know, I live on a farm, so I'm constantly taking my shoes off because they have, you know, mud and other things on them. So I wear flip-flops a lot. You know, I'm just like, hey, who cares? I'll wear, uh, you know, socks and the flip-flops. And my wife looks at me and goes, that is so hideous. You cannot wear socks and flip-flops at the same time. And I said, hey, this is coronavirus. Like, who cares? And she's like, I do. I'm your wife. It looks ridiculous. You see from the picture that the dog agrees with her, too. Yeah, I know. It's really bad. You know, biblically, you know, Song of Solomon. Yeah. You right. want to make sure your wife actually likes you. So uh, that's what I decided on. And so I've decided to listen, even though I don't agree with her. That's probably wise. And it's, it's pretty clear that we need to get you back. <laughs> to the ballpark as soon as possible. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Despite negotiations, Major League Baseball players and owners can't seem to reach an agreement to get this baseball season jump started. And that leaves the fans locked out once again. That's significant because 40% of baseball's revenue comes from ticket prices and game day expenses. One thing's for certain, Paul Bird says, baseball needs its fans. As one of the owners said, that's our brand. We want to be in our home stadiums. We want to pay our employees. We want the fans in our cities to come out to watch the games. I think you're finding out that a lot of fans love baseball. They love going to the park. They love trying to catch a foul ball, having a hot dog, hearing the crack of the bat, smelling the grass. It's the national pastime for a reason, and baseball is important. We haven't seen the cancellation of sports in this country and baseball since World War II. Obviously, we're talking about games and not life and death, but the absence of sports is definitely felt. Why do you think we love sports so much? Yeah, you know, I had a guy come in while I was playing for the Indians, and he gave a brilliant speech. And he goes, you have to watch how somebody handles failure, which is about life. You have to watch how somebody handles success, which is about life. And so there is something magical about watching a gladiator of our time get out on a field and compete and um, there's something inside of every man and woman or that, that resonates with that when they get to see that competition played out on a field. And I think we miss that. Paul and his wife, Kim, established Birdhouse Ministries back in 2016, serving those dealing with personal trauma through equine therapy. And I just look at counseling and things like that as being coached. Um, that's probably from my athletic background. You know, I would hate to take the mound and never have a coach. So in life, I want to have a coach. I want to have a counselor. And one of the things that I've learned is it's okay to be in pain. You don't need to have shame because you're having a tough time struggling. Paul says to look for the blessings during this time of trial. This is a forced um, Sabbath. This is a reset button. This is a, you know, whether... I don't want to say here's what God's doing, but I can say that what I'm learning is what is important to me. Uh, what are the things that I want to re-add back into my life that were important? And what are the things that, you know, I thought I loved that I really don't miss? There's a lot of difficult, bad things that are going on right now because of this virus, but there's also some blessings and look for those blessings despite your pain. One of those blessings is I see complete families walking down the road and I'm like, why did the coronavirus have to happen for families to connect? You know, this is interesting. So I think those are one of the things, the family time together that I would love to see more of in our family and others when this is over.